Hi, my little turkey sandwiches. It's Coach Ray again. Um, if you don't know me, I am the Dance and Rhythmic Coordinator here at Mini Hop Gymnastics. And I am here to give you a little lesson on how to do a DIY on your rhythmic equipment. I know a lot of friends don't have rhythmic equipment at home and it's going to be kind of tricky to practice your, rhythm, or your rhythmic handling if you don't have the equipment. So I'm going to show you how to make some things out of some household objects. So today you will need some glue. It can be Elmer's glue or liquid glue or a hot glue gun, but make sure you ask your big person before you use any of this equipment. Um, you will need uh, a stick of some kind. And when I say a stick, it could be a stick from a tree. It can be um, a stick from something that you have lying around the house, or it can even be popsicle sticks. You will need some ribbon. And today I have two wonderful colors. I have candy cane and shimmery gold. And it glitters. Um, you will also need a balloon and a pair of scissors, okay? So the two um, apparatus we're gonna make today are ribbon and ball. So let's first start with our ribbon. And I'm gonna find a stick, and if I did go outside and pick a stick off of a tree, which I did today, I got my big person, or I am a big person, and I worked on making it nice and smooth with scissors or a knife, and make sure your big person does this for you, okay? Once it's nice and smooth like mine, you see? And it doesn't have any extra twigs hanging off, I'm gonna take my um, ribbon and measure it. So for this one, I'm gonna use the gold. And I want my ribbon to be, let's see, about an arm's length. So from one hand to the other, if I stretch out nice and big in my star shape, that's how much ribbon I want to use. And I keep my thumb there. And then I'm going to cut where my other hand was placed. Cut it nice and safe away from myself. Boom, there we are. Now what I get to do with my big person is I take my ribbon and I'm going to put a little glue on it. And today I'm going to use the hot glue gun. Just because it dries a little quicker. I'm going to put it right on top. And I'm gonna squeeze in and I'm gonna count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I'm gonna try to wrap my stick in the ribbon two times. And then I'm gonna glue it again. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I Squeeze it and I'm going to count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'm going to let this dry a little bit. So I'm going to place it on the side. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to make another one using popsicle sticks. This time I'm going to use some Elmer's glue or liquid glue. Remember, make sure you're talking to your big people before you use all this stuff. And all the supplies will be in the description. And so I'm gonna put some, some Elmer's glue down. Yeah, it won't come out. Oh. There we are. Oh, it's a little stuck here, my friends. Well, I guess I'll be using uh, another bottle today. Good thing I brought two. And I will be putting it, the glue, right at the tip here. The tip of the popsicle stick. There we are. That's a little better. Make sure I cover it with glue because you want it to stay pretty sturdy. And I'm going to do the same thing with my other popsicle stick. So I have two of those. Now here's where it gets tricky. I take my two popsicle sticks and I'm gonna overlap them like this. Cause I have glue on this end and glue on this end. 
and I want to glue them together. So overlap them like the length of your thumb. That's how much you want to overlap. And you want to squeeze, 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 squeeze. Let's count to 20 because liquid glue is, uh, it takes a little longer to dry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And it still might be a little wet, so I'm going to let that cool off next to my other stick. But I have to measure some more ribbon, and this time I'm going to use my candy cane ribbon. It's a little wider. I'm gonna scoop back again and do my big star shape and try to keep my arms as straight as I can. From here, I'm gonna cut, cut, cut where my other arm was. Remember, if you need some help, ask a big person. Because scissors can be sharp sometimes. Yeah. Even Cotre has some tricky issues with scissors sometimes. There we are. Alrighty, my friends. What's gonna happen next is I only have to attach my ribbon to my stick. And I can either use the hot glue gun or I can use my Elmer's glue. And I'm gonna use my Elmer's glue for this one. I'm gonna put it right on top. Or if you have another adhesive or glue, you're more than welcome to use that too. Whatever makes it stick and last the longest. So I glue it on top and I stick it to the fabric, to the ribbon. Now I'm gonna hold it. Remember, it takes a little longer than the other side or the other glue. So let's count to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then I'm going to flip it on the inside and glue it again. Get my Elmer's glue. Sometimes you gotta do a little shaking to get it to come out. There we are. And I flip it close like this. Oh. Have to make sure I squeeze so tight because the other side might not be dry yet. And let's count to 20 again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now we let this one dry and we're gonna go back to our very first one that we made. And seeing how that guy's doing. Looks like it's pretty dry. Looks like the glue gun was a good fit. Hmm. Let's see how it works. Coachray just made a little one, but you can make it longer. If you want to make it twice as long, you will do an arm span and then another one right after to make it a little longer so you have more flow. That one worked out pretty well. Well, our other one is dry, and I'm sure some of my friends are asking me, well, what do I do if I don't have any glue? Well, you can also work on tying knots on them. So I'm going to go measure my other gold ribbon. Measure it. I'm going to make this one a little longer. So I do one ring stamp, and I put my hands together on the other side, and do two. So now this one's a little longer. Remember, ask your big person before cutting, and cut. All right. So 
So what I like to do, my ribbon is about that wide. So I'm gonna fold it in half there. See? And I'm gonna take my stick this is just a stick we had lying around the gym. So use what you have. You don't have to go out and buy something brand new. Use what you have. And I'm gonna tie a knot. And it's just like tying my shoes. That first knot we do when we tie our shoes. I have to tie it so tight, so I might need a big person to help me Squeeze it so tight, oh, so it doesn't slide down. I might need to tie one more. <laughs> All right, well, I think I got it really good with the one. Let's see. Okay. One more time. That one's a little trickier. Yeah. Glitter is everywhere. Okay. So now that we have our two knots tied, yeah, Coach Ray's got some glue on her fingers. Now that we have our two knots tied, let's see how this one works. So it's a little longer. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I get you. Ah, I'm all tangled. And you can use whatever color you like to your ribbon. Very nice. I like this one. Let's go back and check on the one we did with the popsicle stick. Maybe it's dry now. We go back. Mm, it feels kind of dry. Let's try it out. It might take a little longer to dry. Oh, and this one's a little wider, so it's a different type of visual. You gotta make bigger circles with the wider ribbon. Rainbow can never fail. Penis. That one's a little trickier. I have to really hang on to the popsicle sticks. Alrighty, now that we've made our ribbon, let's move on to ball. So, if you have a ball at home, that's great. You can use your ball, any ball, as long as it fits in the palm of your hand. So you don't want to use a ball that's shaped like a football because that one's a little too elongated or too stretched. You don't want to use a baseball because it's too little to fit in your hand and it's kind of hard if you were to drop it on your nose. So I just have a, just a regular bouncy ball. It's similar to the ones we use in Rhythmic here at Mini Hops. Um, and I can work on my different tosses and catches with the one that I do have at home just like I do Okay. But if you don't have a ball, one of the fun things I like to do, especially to help me with my coordination when I was surf landing rhythm, is I use a silly balloon. big enough to sit right in my hand. See? <laughs> and if you need a little help tying it off, I would ask a big person. Um, Coach Ray's not too good at these, but I practice a lot for this video. Yeah, look, and got it on my first try. So now I have a fun balloon, and I can practice a little bit of handling at a slower pace. So I can balance it in my hand, Move nice and slow because you don't want to move too fast and then it pulls away. I balance it in my hand with a nice open palm. I can work on tossing and catching. Tossing big and catching. I can work on a lot of things. But the limitations with the balloon, it doesn't really bounce that high. I can bounce it a little. I can probably bounce it off my arms. Ah! Close away or bounce off my elbow. So it's great for those friends that are just beginning rhythmic 
And now that we have all these things made, you can use these with the different rhythmic videos that I'm gonna put out as we um, continue our virtual MHG and our virtual classes. You can use this equipment, and I know I'll be taking these things home and working with them as well so you guys can see how we can use things like a balloon and makeshift ribbons to still do the same things with the equipment that we don't have. Um, but I hope you guys have a really great time and I hope you make some really cool ribbons and some great balls out of balloons and then I hope we get to use them more. So my friends, thank you for joining me with this do-it-yourself rhythmic equipment um, workshop and then I hope to see all the fun ribbons and balls that you guys get to make and make sure you're following us on Facebook and Instagram and you're following our hashtag virtual MHG and looking at all the fun classes that we're producing. You guys have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye!